Okay, on three. One, two, three! These don't work. Did you get them fresh? If the Faces had a child with Elbow, that band would probably sound a little bit like the Faces and a little bit like Elbow. Or it would sound like neither and be called the Necks. Zach, on their new album Vertigo, do the Necks reach new dizzying heights? Well, I think that it's so hard for the Necks to reach new dizzying heights because the heights that they've set for themselves are so high hmm. that to go any higher is virtually impossible. You're a fan. I'm a fan of this band, but despite that, you know, they just about almost do. And it's pretty amazing that this far down the line, like I can still be like knocked out by a next record. Mm. And yet I put this record on and I was about three minutes into the record and I was just like, oh. A friend came over unexpectedly while I was listening to this record mm. and I like didn't want to hang out with them because I was like, whoa, like are you, whoa, whoa, this yeah. record. Kindly fuck off. Yeah. yeah, this is a fucking record and I mean, they can just do everything. They can improvise, like they can improvise a record and it's amazing. They can massively like overhaul and redub like shit, shit loads of parts and it will be amazing. They can do noise, they can do ambient, mm. they can go fully jazzy and like be completely all over the place or they can just strip everything back and have almost nothing going on. They're so good at carrying a mood and then changing it with all the patience in the world. You know, all it takes is like a sudden crash symbol or something and you're like, okay, uh, like we're going into a dark forest now. Um, and I guess the overall feeling of this album is one of disorientation. That sort of goes with the title Vertigo. Uh, you, you know, it's got these really sort of agitated staccato moments um, which come out of nowhere and then you're sort of led into these really nice, soft, beautiful organ passages and things like that. See, I listened to this album in bed uh, with yeah. nothing like in a dark room and just felt like completely I mean I'm not I'm not much of a spiritual kind of guy oh here he is yeah but you listen to this record and it was like God was you know licking every inch of my body mm. compared to all other albums it's a five Zacker but in the next chronology it's a four Zacker and a half because gotcha. I haven't listened to any of the other next recording I give it four Zacks and half a gotcha without Zach's qualification. Zach, 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 Zach. Gotcha. People try to put us down talking about my generation. A timeless line about someone else's generation from a culturally specific time. Enter Carter Tootie Void, a new marriage of two different generations of industrial music legends. But Matt, can we really allow differently aged people to make music together? When it sounds this good, yes. So you've got like uh, Chris and Cozy, Carter Tootie, um, from Throbbing Gristle, mm. which is 40 years old, um, you know, the inventors of industrial music. And now we have uh, Nick Voigt from um, Factory Floor, which are a great you know, industrial techno act. And you think it's almost too easy merging these two generations, and it is. I was lucky enough to see Carter Tootie Void play live a few times last year, and everything they do is improvised. So even this record is just cut up out of like improvised sessions. Every time I saw them at all these festivals, they stood out by a mile because it's so distinctive. The sounds are so in sync with each other. Um, their gear, their rig when you watch them is just ridiculous. There's a lot of shit going on there. And it's just a maelstrom of sound and you know, and the voice as well, all distorted beyond recognition, but never like concertedly dissonant or loud no. or like no metallic noises, no screaming or anything like that. And yet it's fiercer than any, you know, Nine Inch Nails record. It's just amazing that the people that were pioneers of this music 40 years ago can remain at the forefront mm. of it this far down, mm. you know. If you love uh, anything with a backbeat to it, you should really listen to the new Carter Tutti Void record. I'm gonna give it four Zacks and a half a Gucci. Zach, 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 Zach. Gucci. You know, some great sort of dub techno vibes if you like some basic channel or something, but a bit spookier. This is a great listen. I uh, give it uh, four Zacks and a half a Gucci. Zach, 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 Zach. Gucci. Thanks for joining us on At The Music. Next week, we'll be... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I don't understand what you're saying. Jerry. Uh, do you speak...